in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the installation for PyCharm and we are going to install the robot framework support plugins and create and debug a simple robot framework testing script. So let's get straight into it. I'm using Linux Mint, so I can go to my software manager and search for PyCharm. And this presents me the PyCharm professional as well as the community edition. Or alternatively, I can also go to the JetBrains website and download PyCharm from there. So if you if I click on download, you will see that there's professional as well as community edition available. And professional edition has a free trial. So I'm going to download the community edition to get my setup working. So once the download is completed, I have extracted it under my DevTools folder and I can go into the PyCharm folder and then in the bin folder and I can launch the PyCharm.sh script to get it started. I will double click PyCharm.sh to run it in terminal. And let's just say that I want to create a new project. So once my ID is open, the first thing that I would do is go into tools and say create desktop entry and create the entry for all users. Once the desktop entry is created, I can basically launch PyCharm from my menu bar over here. So I can pin this to my panel. And the next thing that I need to do is install the required plugins. So I go to file, then I go to settings, and then I go to plugins. And I need to install the robot framework support. And I also need to install the IntelliBot plugin. And then I can restart my ID to let the plugin to take effect. Now, before I move any further, let me rename this project and give it a more meaningful name. So let me rename the project and let's say robot test. And in the same time, I'll also rename the folder. And say robot test. Now I need to configure the Python interpreter. And to do that, I can just say control alt s to go into the project settings. And then I can select the Python interpreter from here. So I can click on the drop down list and click on show all. And I can select this as my Python interpreter. And if you haven't seen my previous video, click on the link above to check that out. Because in that video, I discussed installing Python and the dependent libraries and also configuring a virtual environment that I can use as my Python interpreter. And once I do that, it will show me a list of all the packages that are available for my project. And you can see that all my robot framework related libraries are already installed in that virtual environment. Within my project, I want to do some browser based automation. So in order to do that, I need to install Chrome driver. To download Chrome driver, I can do go to chromediver.chromium.org and you can see the different versions are available. Now, for me to run my Chrome driver, I need to match the version of my browser. So let me just check my version of the browser that I'm using. This is 96.0.4664. So if I go back to the Chrome driver website, I can download the 90, Chrome driver 96.0. And I'm using Linux, so I'm going to download this zip file. And once that is downloaded, I can extract it in my robot virtual environment under the bin folder. 
So as you can see, I have, I have copied the Chrome driver over here. And now the fun part begins. And I can start creating my test scripts to do my automation. So first I'll create a new folder. And I'll call this folder test script. And then I'll create a new robot file. So I'll go file new and select robot file. And let me call, call this test dash script zero zero. So for my first test, I want to open the browser and do a Google search. So under my settings, I'm going to import the Selenium library. And please note that there are two spaces between these keywords. Then I'm going to define a bunch of variables. So the two variables that I have defined here is a browser and the URL that I want to open. And under the test cases, I'm going to first give a title to my test case. So let's say open Google search in browser. And then let's get rid of this stuff over here. And the first step that I will need to do is open browser. So I'm going to run the open browser command and then provide the URL. And then provide the browser. Just keep in mind that you need two spaces in here. The next thing that I want to do is click on the search box. But before I write the command to do that, I'm going to go into the browser and inspect the element over here to know what I need to select. So if I look at the search input box, I can see the name is equal to Q. So I'm going to select by name. So I can write the command click element and then the locator. And in my case, the locator is name, which is Q. Next, I want to write some input text in here. So I'm going to write the command input text. And then the locator is again the same name, colon Q. And then let's search for what is robot framework. And then finally, I want to press enter so that I can search for that text. So I'm going to use the press key command. Press keys. And then the locator again is the same name colon Q. And then I'm going to press the enter key. And let me get rid of this keyword over here because I don't want to use it for now. So all I need to do now is just run the robot command and say robot. And then the name of my test script file, which is test script 00. zero. So as you can see, it has opened the Chrome browser and went to google.com.au and then typed in what is robot framework and pressed enter and that did the search on Google. And you can also see that when I ran my test script, it has created a report output. So if I look at this report in my browser, you can see that it has this test summary information and the result of my test, whether it's a pass or a fail. And I can drill down inside and see my actual test script and the result of my test script. So that's all that I wanted to cover for this video and I really hope you find this video useful and thanks a lot for watching.